हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई टी जे ओलम्पियाड्स एंड ए पी फिजिक्स विद अम्बरीश सो टू इन टूडेज वीडियो आई हैव ब्रॉट अ प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम पाथ फाइंडर काइनामेटिक्स चेक यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स आर फेसिंग सम डिफिकल्टी विद दिस सो आई डिसाइड टू डू अ वीडियो ऑन दिस वन सो लेट मी रीड आउट द प्रॉब्लम एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन ट्राई इट आउट सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन so uh, a large number of pedestrians are walking in the same direction in the queues on each side of road of width 3.0 meter b is equal to so there is some road and the width of the road is given as 3.0 meter okay and some pedestrians are walking on it so you can assume them to be walking on either right hand side or left hand side but they are walking on both sides they are walking in the same sense okay so either all of them are walking to the right or all of them are walking to the left that's not specified okay distance between two adjacent pedestrians on either side of the road is a is equal to 2.0 meter so this is the distance 2.0 2.0 2.0 so all of them are separated by 2.0 meters along their own rows okay and pedestrians on one side are displaced by a distance of 0.5 a with respect to the pedestrians on the other side as shown in the figure so pedestrians they are kind of skewed uh, arrangement so Uh, they are not like uh, uh, they are not just uh, in uh, exactly opposite to each other. So if one pedestrian is here, the other pedestrian is here, and this there is some horizontal separation. And this horizontal separation is given to be how much? See, so this horizontal separation is given as zero point five a on the uh, other side. Okay, depicting pedestrians by the small circles. Okay, so I hope this geometry is clear. so exactly at the middle of the two pedestrians on the other side there is one pedestrian on this side okay a boy distributing advertisement leaflets bypasses all the pedestrians the boy and the pedestrians are walking with same constant speed v is equal to 1.5 meter per second so uh, with respect to road the, the speed is same okay please note it's not the velocity speed of the leaflet distributor as well as the speed of the pedestrians is same so the leaflet distributor must be going from pedestrian to pedestrian and distributing to each one of them so he is giving the leaflet to everybody okay starting from a pedestrian if the boy hands over the leaflets to all the pedestrians he comes across how much length l of the road will he cover in 2 minutes so let me explain what is meant by how much length of the road will he cover see uh, the motion of the boy is obviously zigzag because because he has to cover uh, pedestrians on both sides i do not know whether it's to the right or the left but it's definitely going to be a zigzag motion so but in that zigzag motion he will be covering some length along the road so we just want the horizontal component of the displacement along the road in a time period of 2 minutes okay so if you want you can give it a try and uh, i'll get into my solution right away and you can have a look my look at my solution if you want so let me analyze this okay so i worked out a little bit of geometry see uh, this let us say this cross angle is theta with the cross line uh, this pedestrian uh, p is there and let us say this is pedestrian q so line joining p and q makes an angle theta with respect to the cross line okay and the tan theta must be equal to according to the given problem this must be equal to 0.5a upon b so that's what i have written tan theta is 0.5a upon b which uh, if you put in the numbers it's 1 by 3 or tan th theta will be tan inverse of this uh, i just calculated it just to get an idea but it's not i have not used this information anywhere so you can do this without calculator just for my own idea found the value of theta okay let us analyze the problem from the pedestrian frame of reference now why did i choose pedestrian frame of reference you might be wondering because what happens if you get into the pedestrian frame all pedestrians appear to be stationary so that simplifies things a little bit so pedestrians appear to be stationary and the entire road seems to be moving in the opposite direction right so if pedestrians are moving to the right then road appears to be moving to the left or other way around if pedestrians were moving to the left the road would appear to be moving to the right and if you think carefully this becomes analogous to a river boat kind of problem so you can think a river is flowing and uh, there are posts uh, on the banks like this and then some boatman has to uh, reach this post and then this post and he has to alternate between the posts so that's the kind of problem that uh, is equivalent to the leaflet distribution problem that a boatman has to go uh, zigzag along these posts along the river okay so from this frame all pedestrians appear to be at rest and the boy must travel at an angle of tan inverse a by 2b that is this theta from the cross line from this frame okay now the velocity of the boy from the pedestrian frame must be velocity of the boy boy from the road frame plus velocity of the road from the pedestrian frame right 
so this is just like again river boat problem the velocity of boat relative to ground is nothing but velocity of boat relative to river plus velocity of river re relative to ground so same thing i am doing here so velocity of the leaflet boy uh, with respect to pedestrians is velocity of the leaflet boy with respect to the road plus the velocity of the road with respect to the pedestrian so i hope the sentence is clear and then uh, since i have taken pedestrians to be moving rightward so so the road is moving towards left with a speed v and let's say and uh, boy has to move in this direction and the speed of the boy with respect to road is also the same v it is given in the problem see it says that uh, uh, the boy and the pedestrians are all walking with the same constant speed v is equal to 1.5 so speed is same so that means what so this is the velocity vector of the road and this is the velocity of the boy with respect to the road and obviously the resultant is going to be along the bisector so that means what let's say this velocity is uh, at an angle phi with the uh, vertical okay so this whole angle then becomes theta plus phi right because he has to ultimately go in the direction of theta so this whole angle is theta plus phi and this angle is 90 minus theta so theta plus phi must be equal to 90 minus theta 90 degree minus theta or you can say that uh, we have to cancel the components since we want the resultant to be in this direction so in this direction the components must cancel out so velocity so v sin phi uh, must be equal to what uh, this v uh, and this angle is uh, uh, so sorry uh, this v into uh, sin of theta plus phi will be equal to this v into uh, cos of uh, theta okay so v sin theta plus phi is equal to v cos theta if you want to use that use this or otherwise you can just use the logic of bisector so since the resultant is along the bisector theta plus phi must be equal to 90 degree minus theta so that gives you theta plus phi is pi by 2 minus theta so phi is pi by 2 minus 2 theta okay now what is the distance traveled by the boy from the ground frame so we just need to find the horizontal component of velocity of the boy from the ground frame so if this is v and this angle is phi so this component is nothing but v sin phi and if he travels for a time t then horizontal distance covered by the boy is simply v sin phi into t so that's why what i have written so hor horizontal distance traveled by the boy this should be horizontal distance so let me write uh, horizontal horizontal means along the road okay uh, along the road okay so that is uh, v sin phi into t and now you can just put uh, phi pi by 2 minus uh, 2 theta becomes cos 2 theta then cos 2 theta you can use double angle formula l is vt into 2 cos square of 1 my cos square theta minus 1 and cos square theta you can write as 1 by sec square theta so 2 upon sec square theta minus 1 and sec square theta is 1 plus tan square theta why did i find find write in this way because i already know the value of tan theta i found earlier so tan theta is 0 0.5 a by b or a upon 2b okay so uh, then just you put uh, a upon 2b over here and uh, then just simplify this uh, this becomes a square by 4b square subtract 1 and this is the final answer that you get so that's our final answer so and that is our analysis for uh, kinematics check your understanding problem uh, 25 from the pathfinder and uh, i hope you enjoyed my analysis and if you enjoyed my analysis please do give it a thumbs up and uh, Please share this video as much as possible with your friends through WhatsApp, Telegram groups or Discord servers or whatever media you might be using for networking with your fellow students. And uh, uh, most importantly, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to post a new video every day. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you.